Hi girls, so this is to help you study for your test uh, for tomorrow. Um, so we're going to do a couple of like basic problems and then ramp up and we'll do a, a little bit more complex, but I want you guys to understand the concept of this. Um, so the first thing that we want to do is to move the decimal over. Um, so you want to get it here. This is the part that is important, right? You want to get it from where it is, which is before the 8, um, and you want to go all the way to the right, right? So have it um, just be 8 as a whole number. We'll do a couple more examples, and that'll, like, help you understand that. Um, and then whatever you do to the outside, the divisor, you have to do to the inside right here. So we move the decimal over one spot, so the decimal moves after the 6, between the 6 and the 2. So the only purpose of the decimal is to be brought up, and now you can ignore the decimal um, and just go ahead and divide like normal, but you have to be careful where you put the numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and switch some colors. So 8 goes into 56, because 8 doesn't go into 5. 8 goes into 56 7 times. Um, 7 times 8 is 56. Subtract, we have nothing left over. Uh, just like in regular division, you're going to bring down the 2. Does 8 go into 2? No, it doesn't at all. 0 times 8 is 0. Subtract 2 minus 0 is 2. And then we're going to bring down the 4. So 8 goes into 24 three times. So our final answer, 3 times 4 is 24. Uh, we have no remainder. So our final answer is going to be 7.03. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do another one. Um, so 0.82 divided by 2.0. 2.947, let's say. Okay, so for here, this problem, um, it helps to go ahead and just like go through and do the multiples of 82, um, but we'll get there in a second, but we're going to go ahead and deal with our decimal. So here we're going to move the decimal once, twice to get it all the way to the right. So in the answer, well in 2.947, we're going to do the same thing once, twice, and again, the only purpose of the decimal is to be brought up. And then you're going to divide, um, but we're going to take a little bit of a commercial break. So here, um, we're just going to save ourselves some time and just do the multiples of 82. Um, so we're going to go ahead like this. I'm just going to do a little bit of a chart. So 82 times 1 is 82. 82 times 2 is, and you can definitely go through and like work this out and stuff yourself. Um, 82 times 2 is 164, double the 8, double the 2, so you get 164. 82 times 3 is equal to 246. And this will save us some time in the long run, and it'll save us some guessing, um, but we can use estimation for sure. Uh, this is just to help us like get an actual answer. Um, 82 times 4, <clears throat> and you do that, you're going to get 328. Um, we're going to try to go to about 9, 10, um, 82. We can add another 82 to that. 82 times 5 is equal to 410 times 5. And again, this is just to save us some work. 82 times 6 is going to equal 492 times 7, 574. times 8, 656, times 9, is going to be 738, and then, you know, times 10 is going to be 820, but we're not going to get there. Okay, so now that we have our numbers, um, you can go ahead and use that to help you. So you ask yourself, how many times does 82 go into 2? That's 0. How many times does 82 go into 29? 0. How many times does 89, I'm sorry, 82 go into 294? Okay. So you can estimate, you go 8 goes into 29, uh, 8 times 3 is 24. So we would have an estimation of about 3 or 4. Um, and when we look over here, 4 is too big. That's 328. So we know we're going to have to use 3. So we're going to put the 3 here. 
Um, and then we already did the multiplication, right? So 3 times 82 is going to equal 246. So we're going to put 246. And then you subtract like normal. So 4 minus 6 you can't do. So we borrow from here. That becomes an 8. Right, and then you add the 1 right here. So 14 minus 6 is 8. 8 minus 4 is 4. Um, 2 minus 2 is 0. So at this point right now, uh, once we subtract, we're going to bring down. Um, so we're going to bring down the 7. So we ask ourselves, how many times does 82 go into 487? So if we estimate 8 goes into 48 about 6 times, we check our work. And boom, we have eight, 82 times 6 is equal to 492. That's better than uh, 590, I'm sorry, 574 is going to be too big. So you go ahead and put the 6, and 82 times 6 is 492. But now look, right, that's too big. So we cannot use the 6. We have to go ahead and use our 5 because the 5 is the one that gives us an answer that is closest, right? without going over because we cannot go over 487. So we go 82 times 5 is equal to 410. We subtract, so that's going to give you 7. That's going to give you 7. So that's going to give you 77. Um, and then at this point, if there's no numbers left, remember that you can go ahead and add as many zeros as you want. So we're going to add another 0, bring that 0 down so we get 770. And then you continue going uh, to whatever it is that they tell you to go to. Um, but because we have these numbers here, it'll be a little bit easier. So we go 82 goes into 770 uh, nine times. So put the 9. 82 times 9 is equal to 738. And then go through the regular methods and like subtract. Um, at some point, they'll tell you what to go ahead and like either round it to or things like that. So this is going to be 32, 32. Um, and then again, like I said, you just keep going through. And it, the question is like, when do you stop, right? So you have to look back at the question and it'll tell you um, how far to go. I'm going to do, this is the tenths place. Uh, we're going to kind of review and go over it. Remember that this is the tenths place and the nine is in the hundreds place. Um, we're going to go through, we can continue the problem one more time. Um, so 82 goes into 320 now. Uh, how many times? So you ask yourself, and then 320, this is 328, that's too big. So you have to go three times. So you put the three there. 82 times three is equal to 246. Subtract as normal. Um, based off of what I saw with you guys subtracting, uh, you are, all three of you are really good with that, um, and so you should get 74 when you subtract. And again, like I said, you can continue to bring zeros down and keep going through and dividing. Uh, this is going to be 9, close to 738, so you're going to put a 9. So we have, let's move this over, uh, 738, subtract, we get 2. And like I said, you can continue going through. Uh, if there's no number, you put a zero, so that's going to be 20, so that's not going to go in at all. At some point, like I said, it's going to tell you what to, just because I'm running out of space. Um, but do you see how I'm organized with and how I put the answers in? So just stay organized. Try three problems and then send it to me, please, um, so I can check it and uh, before your test tomorrow. Thank you.